Remember that you are... Wait here, Captain. I just assume leave it cold, dark, and derelict. Uh, we ought to keep an eye on these objects. We poke around too much, they might wake up. I see you have activated your holographic shroud, Captain. Excellent. Becoming indistinguishable from an authentic UDL trooper will prove advantageous to your current situation. A UDL vessel has been tracking our position and just recently docked with the station. They are patching into the station's transmission lines now. I cannot stop... I've been waiting for this day since we tagged your ship in Cascadia, Captain. I... Who are you? No one told me we had security forces deployed on the station already. Roger that. Just as a precaution, I'm sure you won't mind if we turn on the station security systems. Can't be too careful. We hate to leave this location undefended after a close call with outlaws. That should have been fixed by now. As you say, we'll just head out then. Safe travel, soldier. The UDL gunship is undocking from the station. They appear to be departing into space. Hmm. I ought to try talking more and fighting less. Seems like it saves on ammunition. Nah, <laughs> that ain't no fun.
subjects. They're still alive. Suppose Sublight will thank us for this. I hope that thanks comes in the form of cash. Wait, Chartrand? We've seen that name before, back in Cascadia. A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. Hey! Shit will get off the pot, damn it! Are you listening in there? You can't be hogging the facilities for 40 damn minutes! You ought to see Ellie. You got a condition or something. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Finally, a base of our own. Soon we'll have eyes on every corner of the system. Well done, Captain. I heard about that. While my lawyers scratch their heads wondering how we deal with human salvage, I'm leaving the researchers in hibernation. Aside from the automated security, 
Did you meet any resistance at the station? Ugh, I knew it. They've been shadowing us since Monarch. Maybe even longer. I've been less than honest with you. Your assignments weren't strictly about the salvage business. You might have figured that out already. After the Monarch job, I started connecting the dots. I didn't like the picture. Then what we found at Station 1084 confirmed my fears. You and I have stumbled onto something big. Something none of us were meant to know. Glad to know it, Captain. Ask yourself why a skeleton crew was studying that Alta Vitae gas in secret. Ask yourself why stockpiles were hidden on a planet full of monsters. No, they were hiding something the colony isn't ready to know. Before we go any further, I want you to keep an open mind. Can you do that for me, Captain? Aliens. I'm talking about aliens. They're the ones responsible for the deaths at 1084, and who knows what else. We have to put a stop to it. Hear me out. I'm saying it's aliens. I'm not asking you to like it. I'm not even asking you to believe it. But I need to act on this threat to the colony, and I can't do it alone. Well, at least she doesn't expect us to believe it. Right. I'm done. I'm officially tuning you out until such time as I hear the words payment and or shooting. The crew is skeptical. That's good. I don't want you walking into the unknown with blindfolds on. I assume you have questions? Hmm. You took that better than I thought. Dr. Chartrand is the crooked psychopath behind the gas experiments. She sold out her species, and I need you to put a bullet through her skull. She's a research scientist and a damn good one. Before UDL poached her, she engineered a 0.2% increase in cysty pig juiciness. Now she's doing the same thing with humanity. Her fingerprints were all over Station 1084. You saw what she did to her team. You've got me all wrong. I just want to add savior of humanity to my resume. I've got ambitions outside of this office, you know. Besides, this way Sublight gets first dibs on alien salvage. Do you usually come across innocent people trapped in suspension tanks? Because some of us would call that excessive. Remember, the tanks were just the shit she left behind. Just imagine the experiments she carted off to her next lab. We're far beyond theories. Chartrand's logs, the gas, the suspension tanks, how much proof do you need? Wake up, Captain. An invasion needs collaborators working from the shadows. She has access to the board. Unlimited funds and a colony full of sheep. Just think of it as salvaging hope from the smoking wreckage of humanity. This is your initiation into a future with sublight. Want a steady position in our ranks? Buy one with a bullet. Well, there's your usual fee. What else do you want, a promotion? It's yours. Even better. I'll owe you one. This key card will get you through the front door of her Byzantium estate. Don't ask how I got it. You might not like the answer. By now, the other side knows what you're doing. Don't trust anything, Chartrand says. She's compromised down to the bone. Maybe even deeper than that.
A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. We're now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. Good old Stellar Bay. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. Am I the only one to go? I'll keep it down. here and a matter queen showed up then wrapped it on it was a void blasted mess i ran in here and um now the door's locked little help rude i'll have you know i can go for whole days without a snack i'll be here if you change your mind on account of i can't do anything else
Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... <laughs> hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Can do. Thanks a lot, mister. Be careful with your new friends in Amber Heights. They're not the most reliable types. Anyway, what can I do for you? You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. I didn't mean for any harm to come to you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. In charge of a scrap heap of a city, abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Graham finally shut up. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. But that's exactly what this is. The world isn't changed with guns and speeches, as much as Graham and his followers would like to think, but rather with meticulous documentation. And the bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 is one of the most formidable pieces of data entry in all of Halcyon. One false stroke can invalidate the entire document. It's true. 
One of the old execs gave herself a stroke trying to fill out the exemption section. Your concern is most touching, but not to worry. I've been preparing years for this. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Corporate espionage. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? Your best delivery yet, sir. Getting ahead of myself again. Happens to the best of us, sir. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. You really think so? Don't encourage him. I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Of course. I didn't mean to make assumptions. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Catherine's great, ain't she? She'll pull you out of the sulfur, so long. Judging from the blood spatter on your shirt, I take it you visited my favorite cleaner? Sure. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? Let me just stop you right there, stranger. My question, it's not one I really want an answer to. Not unless it accompanies some extra bits. Understand? More than you can afford at this time. Now you just described half my customers. Well, let's see. There was one woman more recent. Complained nonstop about losing it all on the toss ball score. 
Mostly colonists were a sure bet. But you know what they say about sure bets. Ask our bookmaker Westley. He could tell you more. Please make yourself at home. A VIP such as yourself is always welcome at the ante up. What's your order? That does ring a bell. I remember one lady. She never penned a name in the book. Her friend Huxley placed a collateral for her. Huxley is one of them iconoclasts. Know of her? She's not quite all there. How'd you guess it? Anywho, she's probably in Amber Heights with the rest of those Icono nutters. to mention the iconoclasts are loyal folk treat them right they'll do the same turn on them they'll open fire without a second thought oh hello good to see you again damn right ain't nothing in the wilderness can stop me except being locked up oh she's such a gem she gambles with me whenever I've got time to stop through Fallbrook Ooh. I bet she's hiding. Does that when she owes people money. Ought to leave her be, though, if she doesn't want to be found. I mean, I guess. But we still gotta pay for drinks, so I can't just... Ah, you're right. I've been awful. Okay, I'll tell you, so long as you don't rat me out. She's got a secret hideaway out in the middle of nowhere. I'll mark it on your map. It's pretty busy for an abandoned facility. Here, I want a key to the back gate off her, but I ain't going near that place. If I may be so bold. Well now, here I thought those mantasaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two?
I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. Bunch of amateurs. Sublight should have seen this coming. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? Well, you don't gotta be mean about it. What are you doing out here anyway? That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I gnawed through my last sprat worst an hour ago. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Marauders were waiting for us. They blew the bridge and took off with the shipment. Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath.
they go.
thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, who? Ah, them. They're hardly a corporation. More like a jumped-up band of thugs with certain pretensions. The evidence I'm hoping for would implicate one of the board powers. Anti-Cleo's, Spacer's Choice, UDL, someone of that caliber. Not that we don't appreciate your diligence. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the Reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. You... you are? You... that... You could do a lot of good around here, you know. Don't go getting my hopes up. But that's entirely the point. We've got to hope. We have got to partake once more of the full resources and opportunities of Halcyon. What about the folks out in the wilderness? Amber Heights, Fallbrook. Will you share with them, or will you hoard those resources here? My sincerest hope is for MSI to become a model for all of Halcyon. But we must start somewhere. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? Come on, do you really want to get invested in the details? We finished the job. Hmm, is that so? I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. Eternal no. What is wrong with you? Who would ever design something like that? However... You're welcome to brew me a Rizzo Insta Coffee from the staff kitchen on your way back. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. I'm starting to see why you don't get much company out here. 
Terrific. I'll be here, waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. He told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. Anyone else hear a high-pitched whining? Did I get tinnitus, or is that just Hiram? Used to be, you can get the best wine on Monarch here. This area is suicide. If you got a way around it, ain't no shame in taking it. Oh, it's 
done, Captain. Here they come. Won't try that again. You go on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. Me too. You know corpses shit themselves, right? Enjoy the smell. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, oh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. Normally, I'd find this kind of talk from you quite invigorating. But this is a difficult moment for me. Still, perhaps you have a point. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. 
Oh, how do these things ever start? Once upon a time, Graham and I saw the same problems with MSI. A rigid corporate structure with no regard for its people. But where I wanted to reform MSI, he only wanted to take it apart. As if starving in the wilderness is somehow better than starving under corporate mismanagement. He won't hear reason now, and I wouldn't trust him again. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. One can't be haphazard about these things. Besides, if you think her skills will complement mine, then we should see what those skills are. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. They got the drop on us. Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh... She's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I... I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Captain, we should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just 
guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Yes, we are acting. On Stellar Bay. What's this about? You're running the Iconoclast into the ground. And I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops. Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Take your best shot, Nothing like a good Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void, help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? I've thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. Well, then. Gotta prepare a few just-in-case measures, but when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay.
Hey, thanks for coming. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. I certainly hope you don't mean to undercut the value of due diligence. I get the feeling this is gonna take a while. Sanja, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. His friend? His friend? Are you fucking kidding me, Captain? I've been standing with Graham for the better part of a decade while this paperclip cowboy sat behind his walls. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but me is laughing at something, but you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. But that means... I had no idea, I swear. Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that. I think I believe him. He's just dumb enough to mean it. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I... Okay, okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay, if you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'll need to sign a physical contact waiver first. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh, guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. 50-Bit says they kill each other before the week's out. Don't know how you managed to get Zora and Sanjar in the same room. Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Sure. And fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. In my experience, it spread real thin. Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. Hey, let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? You know, I'd been assuming this entire stay on your ship thing isn't a permanent arrangement. Part of my contract? That said, you ain't been eaten or shot to death yet. Says a lot about the stability of your future. And to be honest, I'm about sick of sleeping on bar stools.
So how's about this? You keep letting me stay on that ship of yours, and I'll keep shooting at the things you point at. Outstanding. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Cleaning done quiet is cleaning done well. On standby for command. Now arriving at Phineas's top secret orbital lab. <laughs> 